Welcome back. We are in episode two of our Hearts of Iron campaign. That was a drink of water. And we're going to push play, and we're going to see what happens. I like to play on speed four. It's not too fast so things don't get missed. Uh, building up our health support. That's uh, so what we're going to do here with our medium lobbying effort. Because what I want is this right here, and we need uh, more support of the House, or actually right now it's the Senators we don't have uh, for us, uh, but that's our plan here. Most of these here we have to have a lot more support, or more support, uh, and there's really kind of three paths that we can go down as the states. We can go down here, which will be more... I am forgetting the word for the bad, bad Germans. Fascists! Aha! There we go. The fascist line. Uh, we can go all the way down here to the Soviet communist side, or right down uh, in the middle. And that's where I typically like to play if I'm doing more of a neutral kind, because once you get down to uh, here, you really get some good bonuses. Uh, you start getting a lot of uh, free dockyards, free military facilities, so it's going to be what we're doing here. So we're going to continue uh, the New Deal, which is what we need for here, and all the way down. So until we get more political power, uh, it's going to be down here. So we're going to get our I will wait on those. We're going to start working on training all of our Navy to give us the naval experience for one. But once it's all done, we will have, uh, we'll start making our fleets. That gives us time to build all the other destroyers. Also, before I forget, is we're going to go through here, and like I said in the last episode, I don't like playing with the uh, close air support. I don't do land bombardment, so I'm going to go remove all of those, and my goal is to have uh, three sets of fighter group and three naval uh, bombers. What do we have here? That is a bummer. Yep. And carrier fighter. That should be fighter, fighter, fighter. Bomber, bomber, bomber. Perfect. We have three fighters. We'll get rid of one of you. And we have three bombers. Same thing. Fighter, fighter, naval bomber, naval bomber. So one of each. This only has here two fighters, naval bomber, and there we go. So that will just get the right uh, airframes in there. And if we happen to build more, and we have access here, so that's the same thing. We're upgrading all of our fighters we happen to have. And here we go. We have representatives go into opposition, so that's going to push us down below our needed. Amount of what we need. And this is where all the ships that get built will free up our amounts here. So we'll just keep putting them in here uh, as they get built. Also, we're going to go and turn on all of our ships can detach if they need to repair. Otherwise, what will happen is they will all stay together as a, a fleet, and they will not uh, detach individually. 
but if I'm training like this, it makes it way more efficient. It just gets them all there. Same thing with our army. Yes, sir. Uh, we're very short on a lot of our equipment here. Uh, we're still going to yes, sir. train these up to get the all experience. In. Because this is what you're going to need to go population. So this is the rim that word I cannot spell. Speak. Is basically they're going down the the Germans are going down the path of uh, the Nazis and Hitler. Uh, so that's kind of where this path is going to go. We're going to go in here. We just got our our sonar. We'll get our depth charges up. down to the radar here. So very similar uh, with, the, with the not historical AI. Uh, any country can go down around the path. There'll be a lot more civil wars. And I'm going to trade for some chromium. Uh, one thing I like to do is when, because uh, if you give a trade with a country, you're giving them a civilian factory, basically use of yours. Uh, I will not, or try not to, use what I potentially would see as an adversary, uh, give them those resources, because I don't want to help my, my potential enemies. And I'm all good with a negative one here. Aircraft carrier, but this helps get them built a lot faster. So yeah, like I said, we'll see with the non history, there'll be a lot more civil wars. Things like Britain might be going a little bit fascist right here. Uh, French uh, might be going here. Uh, Italy is abandoned to Naval 30, we should have our own. Uh, eventually, that will just pop up. Uh, but I do believe it does give us the option to... Should be... Sometimes you'll get the option to, like, demand a country go back on it. If not, you can cause war. But the states are very neutral uh, in this part of the timeline, so they're not very much to go push a lot of buttons. So now we've got a new military factory. Do I have my... This, right here. I'll wait for this to get built or research, I should say. And then we'll slowly start working on these uh, here. So I know I'm going to put these in all my armies, so I'm going to start building slowly. Like, I got 27 light air, anti-air. If you go into here... And you can see we want to do anti-air support. Every one of your army divisions is going to need uh, 20. So if you have 24 divisions in here, 24 times 20, do the math, times 5 of these. So I'm going to need a lot of these. Same thing uh, with our anti-air and, or sorry, anti-tank and artillery. So we are really short on guns or rifles we're gonna put that there and get those going I work on our industry get that going and the caps give it more efficient so we can make more uh, per day and we're just more efficient Continue the new deal so I doubt we have enough for here we do not and neutrality act so this will really make it harder to go intervene or support in any war we really don't want to get we will get even less of a war support uh, but that uh, just the path we want to go down to go through all of these 
Yeah, because this is also very huge of what we get. That six military factories and six naval dockyards, just, you can't pass that up. And we're going to wait to modify the government uh, to go here to get, we're going to work on financial expert, or one of these like this. And we're going to try and do silent workforce to get some more political power uh, per day. What's that? I don't. Oh, I have this guy. So this guy is giving us daily experience, which is good. Very, very good. And we're going to feed him effort, special measures to help get this more in the green. Excellent. So our battleships are done. Uh, cruise, heavy cruisers are almost done. And the light cruisers are half. And then all the destroyers. So what I will eventually do is I'll split these up into three groups. I'll make them even. Yay! Better fifth guard for peace. And we'll have like an even uh, three fleets, so you could carry uh, three zones. And then I'll split my destroyers and my submarines evenly into an east and west fleet. Uh, so mainly I can have two areas of warfare I could focus on. Uh, and transfer <coughs> if need be. Uh, we're going to start doing some training on my planes because I always forget to do that. Yay! Support your local government. And the center is going the opposition. And then we'll do a We'll go into opposition. I don't want to go into opposition. Uh, so we will leave all of that here. And how are we doing? Almost. I'm three centers up. So there's a lot of these uh, that go into the game. I don't really read them a lot. Uh, unless it's kind of like one report. But just all like the political parties and happenings. In the game, like that one here, uh, there was kind of like a neutral zone that Turkey was allowed to occupy. They've occupied it just like the Rhineland in Germany has now been occupied. So fun fact, I learned something about my own Canadian geography uh, from this game. Um, and it's this island right here. I did not know French uh, owned that island and still does to this day. So I did not realize that Canada was this close to France. Learn something from a video game. Uh, so Italy took Ethiopia. Italy starts at war with Ethiopia in the game and they uh, just won that war down here. But yeah, that was my little interesting geography fact I learned from playing Arts of Iron 4. Looking at that going, why can't I occupy you? Oh, you're French. So Canada, uh, very, I could say weak, uh, but very small nation, very not a lot of military. Uh, so if I do play uh, Canada, I will basically make only like one or two armies, divisions, and then focus on my navy to do uh, submarine, uh, anti-submarine warfare, just French like they did in World War II. Uh, just, it's your best um, what you can do with the lack of manpower. Because this is about all you're going to get for most of it. So it's not a lot of manpower you have for Canada or industry. So you have to be very selective. All right. Neutrality Act. I doubt we have enough. We do. So let's get this. We'll get our extra 10 uh, dockyards, which is going to drastically make this easier. Alright, so let's go here. We're going to get the silent workhorse to get this as well, and then our next should be... Where are we? I just looked at him. Financial expert. Uh, consumer factories less. Which will allow more uh, construction of these.
So if you are watching these videos, um, just to let you know that most of these are going to be uh, pre-recorded in bulk uh, and then set to debut uh, probably about twice a week. I'm going on a work trip for several months and not able to record anything. Ah, let's do some radar. Uh, so I'm kind of pre-planning all of these. If you make any comments, I may still reply to the comments, but I won't be able to enact anything in the game uh, because I have already, by the time you are watching this, I have probably completed this campaign and all the videos are just waiting to be released. But still, give me your comments, give me your feedback, uh, and if you like uh, Hearts of Iron 4, and if it's something you enjoyed watching, let me know, and I can either keep playing it or never play it again. Your choice, but we'll see. So Spanish War is going up here. Uh, typically in this uh, mod, it will break into four factions. So you have uh, the fascist versus democratics, and then you have the communist, and then the anarchist as well uh, for a four-sided war. Usually the communists or the fascists end up winning that war. As uh, you can see here, because of our lack of equipment, we are not really um, training any of our troops, uh, but that is okay. Oh, and yes, from last video, we got rid of these campaigns. We're not going to use any of these, uh, so we'll just get rid of that over there. We'll put that as well. We may not use any cavalry. Uh, free dockyard. One and two. And then once we get through all of these uh, destroyers being built, we will start working on refits. Yay! More supportive. Perfect. So everyone is trained. Uh, so let's spend our time uh, organizing our navy. So what I do is I'll just quickly move things here. We do have two of our what class are they called? Yorktown class uh, carriers. Uh, so we're going to leave space for those, and we are going to move the Langley and the Ranger into its own separate fleet. Uh, so we'll do the Saratoga in the second fleet. Move these here. And then the Enterprise and the Yorktown will fill up this one here. So we have five battleships, so each are gonna get five. Uh, we're gonna go with one Colorado each, one New York class each, and then three um, Four, three, four, four of uh, standards as well. Uh, so I like using the main name class in here. And I'm going to put kind of which one I like. Oh, I'll go with Maryland here and Virginia here. And then New York here. Texas here. Alabama here. Arizona. Go New Mexico and. Pennsylvania, you're the pride of the fleet. And we'll split this up by half. There you go. So these ones, let's put these in the actual, so I can count a bit. So we have, oh, messing up. That's all, ah, that's why. Okay. Okay, cool. There we go. So we have all of our heavy ones here. So we'll try and kind of make it as even as possible. Astoria, Astoria here. Astoria, we'll go to Portland here. And then we'll do one, two, three. Three? Yeah. One, we'll go half. And then same thing. One's going to have four. No. Nope. And one's going to have an extra one. And 
And these are all first level, also all first level. Okay, we'll move these here. And we'll have 10 destroyers in each fleet. There we go. And we have right now. Try and get about even, more or less, and then this will be our Atlantic fleet. I really can't math right now. 43, 44, there we go. Good enough. And then these will add all of our destroyers and submarines uh, later on. So let's name those. We'll do here. Okay, this is already named the Atlantic Fleet. These will be up for Pacific Fleet. Pacific Theater. I honestly cannot spell, so I am using uh, the oceans to help spell my words. And we'll do destroyer squadrons. And what we'll do is we're going to split this down into five. and make them ish as even as possible. Wait, you know, I'll move. Perfect. So we'll start our refits in a moment. Uh, those are fine. keep adding to it as well. Yeah, oh. that will be fine. So we'll have these start training. All of these can go into this metal symbol. Octopus so I can find it. And then once they're automatically they're built, they go right into here and they start training right away and it just saves me and put them in later I doubt these will make it in time uh, and we'll do our carriers in there oh, we'll do this later because I want to do all the carriers as well cool so let's start with um, My destroyers. Do I have all the thing I research I want? Ooh, speaking of. That's gonna be a while away. Got all this, that's gonna be a while away, that's gonna be a while away. So And 
so what I do is I'll have all of these as anti-submarines. Uh, we're going to keep this name of the class. And we're going to make it hit design anti-submarine. So if we had, oh, other way around. Uh, sonar here, if we wanted to have a fire control system, if we will. And eventually we'll probably have radars and things like that. And then we will call this Clements class. Academy <laughs> class. And here we go. So we have our we do that. And then we'll go through and uh, we'll work on the Atlantic first actually. We'll do all these guys. And these are uh, second tier, so we will leave those there for now. Uh, once I did the Man the Guns uh, mod DLC, I really liked that because you could actually more definably upgrade all of your units. So let's go name our. This is going to be the Paddle Force, this is going to be our first carry division, second carry division, third carry division, so scouting forces, I like destroyer flotilla, so this is going to be first, first, ah! Same thing with the <coughs> here, took off the headphones to sneeze on that one. Position. That's definitely, well, it's not too bad, but definitely one of the challenges. Uh, you need to keep the support up. And we're not going to do anything right there. Ooh, and let's get our commanders. So, we are going to do Trester Nimitz, even though he's a submarine commander as well. Uh, I like him because of Trester Nimitz, what he did in World War II. We have commander aircraft carriers. And we'll go with our submarine attack, so we'll see. Cook. Scouting force will do. Do. Policy. And. We'll do. 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 King. 
and this is our uh, training fleet of going to go there. So, all these ones being <laughs> excellent. Uh, while we're here, nope, bump them. So we got a whole bunch more. Uh, I think we're now at 33 instead of 23. Uh, so what? happen is when we refit all of these we have a full 10 on a refit once that gets done it goes down here as well as as these get built these uh, dockyards will automatically get pushed down to here and then these cruisers right here uh, will just get built over time um, just to kind of supplement just because they've already been built I don't like to destroy them uh, we'll go from there. All right. So, Bureau of Ships. Uh, we're probably going to build a lot of uh, light and big and sub destroyers and submarines. We're going to get that uh, just to really help build them a lot faster. Uh, as well, with this experience here, we're going to go here and go to Naval Refit Yards to make our refitting and repairs a bit uh, happen that much faster because the refit is going to be what's really going to make the strength of our navies. So we're going to stop uh, episode two there. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, hit that like, subscribe, comment what you like, what you didn't like, uh, or just comment at all. It really helps with the engagements. Uh, so uh, we're going to leave it there, and thank you for tuning in.